Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going look, we are going to look at the progress bar control. Now, uh, from search toolbox, I write progress. Here our progress bar control. Let's move it over our form one and let's resize it and do something like this. Yeah. Now, uh, from here. If you look at it, this is position it initial value. For example, if I put 50, now you see it is like 50%. And also we have a mark and mean. We can change it to 1,000 or as you like, or mean value. But let let's say it like this. Now, uh, what we are going to do? We'll add two buttons will increase and uh, decrease uh, the value of our progress bar. Now let's add two simple button. This first one, this is the second one. And let's name them. And also let's name delete this one progress bar. Let's name it DTM. Increase, increase, and begin uh, decrease. Now, let's add some image into our buttons. Uh, let's see what we can find here. Something like this is not so. And from this one, say down. Let's make the same size with. This too big. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I don't know. Sorry. Now, first, uh, double click our increase uh, button, and from uh, this event, we will write our progress bar dot edit value. This is how we can put our value, how we can assign our value here. Now here, uh, I would like to uh, uh, declare a field, private, int, let's name it value, and let's assign it to zero. And then uh, I, will, I will increase my value. Plus one. Now this, it, it, it should be increased in our value. But as you see that, uh, the moment we click it, it just uh, it set our value into zero. The reason because we set our position to 50. As you see that, so uh, first we have to uh, catch our positions. So we come our form. How we are going to do that? First we double click our form one, and from here I will say value equal progress bar control position and our position is 50 and it will just assign 50 into our value so now let's try it as you see that it's increasing from 50 now let's go for decreasing let's say progress bar control edit value equal minus minus value now let's run our program. Decreasing, increasing. And also we can do such a things whenever our progress bar uh, value change, we will invoke a value. 
we will get that uh, current value into that form one. It is called the form text. So what we are going to do, we come here from events, progress bar from events, edit value change. Whenever it increase or it decrease, it will invoke this event. Let's double click it. Now, I will write uh, text equal progress control dot edit value to string. So let's run it. The moment I increase, this one it should be 51. You see? And let's decrease. So let's now uh, put a timer. As you know, the timer is ticking every second. It involves the method. Let's put a timer. And then let's make it like a bad timer. This, is okay. this interval, if I, went, I make it like 1000, every second it will invoke our method. So I make every second. So from tick events, I come in. So here, uh, we can increase or decrease our uh, timer tick. For example, uh, let's say progress bar, edit value. Um, plus plus value. Let's increase first. Uh, in order to run the timer, we have to put uh, two simple more buttons. One will start, one will stop. Now two buttons, say simple button. First, this is second. And uh, let's put it here. We say start and stop. Start, start, it will change stop, it will stop our timer, it will stop. We can put image even here. This time maybe I will choose like a 16 pixel, a very small one. So anything will start, what we have here. Let's put start. Uh, this button. <laughs> and let's put stop. So which one we can see? Yeah, it's like a symbol. No, actually, it depends on your design what you are going to choose it. Let's say this is stop. It's not looking cool, but it's okay. Now let's double click our start. I will write timer start. It will start our timer. Double click stop. To say timer stop. So let's run application. It put start. But I just changed the interval. I want to show you again from timer. I put uh, 100 at the end of a second. So. That's why it's going very fast. The moment I click stop, it stops. Uh, 
as you see that it came to 100 is stop we can even uh, put the condition here for example we say if if uh, value equal 100 then uh, we will set our value to zero it will start from beginning let's start or even let's uh, increase the interval of timer to maybe 50 maybe more maybe 10 I will put this time <laughs> So that's pretty much it.